Hello and thank you for your purchase of Filmwash Color Effects for After Effects. My name is Ben Hushner and I'm going to take you through a short trip into the Filmwash plugin here. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to just going to show you how to install it. So when you downloaded the Filmwash here, you'll have got a folder with three folders inside it. You'll have got a grain, which has got some grain movies, which we're going to have a look at in a little bit later. Uh, tutorials, well, one of which you're just watching now, and Film Wash here, and these are the um, After Effects animation presets that comprise the the Film Wash color effects here. So we just need to install these into After Effects, and it's very very easy to do. Uh, it's simply a case if you're working with After Effects uh, 6.5 or 7, then we just need to navigate to C, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects 6.5 or uh, 7, Support Files, Presets, and then we can just uh, drag and drop or copy and paste those in there. And that's, that's basically it done. Now you can start up After Effects 7 and it will be uh, installed in for you. Uh, alternately, if we want to do it into CS3, it's exactly the same thing. C, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, CS3, Support Files, Presets. And we'll just paste those in as well. I'm working on Windows here, as you can see. If you want to work on a Mac, again, the Presets file is very easy to find. It's in the Applications folder under Adobe After Effects, CS3, and in there you'll find the Presets folder. So just copy that in there and let's start up Adobe After Effects. So I can show you how to apply the film wash. Okay, so if you have a look now at the effects and presets tab, if you, if you haven't got it open, then come up to the window and go effects and presets. And under the animation presets here and under presets, you'll have film wash. So you have all of the film wash looks just there for you. Okay, so how do we apply these? Uh, well, let's just start up my uh, film wash tutorial. If you want to apply film wash to just uh, a single clip, it's very, very easy to do. Uh, we'll just take uh, 60s color for, for one second, and we can either drag it onto this clip here or drag it onto the clip on the timeline. Wait a few seconds while it loads everything up, and there it's done. So that's without the effect, and that's with the effect. Now, film wash goes beyond uh, simple primary color correction and starts with just uh, individual uh, colors and tones separately. So that's why with film wash you get a very very deep rinse whenever you put on one of the uh, uh, one of the filters here. Now we can of course come in here and adjust any one of these um, effects, but I'd suggest to you that especially when you're starting out, just adjust the ones with the asterisk. So in this case, we'll take the desaturate here. Now if we take that down to zero, you know, we've got a saturated, well, actually oversaturated uh, image here, and we can just pull that back, and then that will give us uh, a very desaturated picture, you know, and we'll just get us into a nice, a nice area, it takes to 27. Another thing all the, uh, all the, f the filters have is also this final contrast here, and that's basically, it's just a, a, a regular uh, levels command. So if you need to give it a bit more contrast, a bit more, um, a bit more pop, we can just drag the input black and the input white in. Now I won't drag the input white in at all because that would blow out too many of my um, other highlights there. Even if you don't adjust anything, the film wash is designed to give you a very, very cool look straight away, straight out of the box. So we're coming here. And then we'll have a look at with the effect and without the effect there. Now, I would recommend not applying film wash uh, in this way. Of course, it is one way to apply it, but uh, film wash works best when you've done the primary correction to your clips already. So if you've done the balancing, the, uh, the brightness and contrast and the, and the color balancing between clips before you apply film wash, um, it all appears to go a lot smoother. So with that in mind, if I just uh, actually just delete all of these filters, and I'm going to show you a different way of applying the uh, the film wash here. So my editing system 
is able to output a file that that um, After Effects can can read directly. So what it's done is it's taken my my timeline and split it up, and so all of my edits are uh, ending up of, as as separate tracks in After Effects. Now, of course, if I was to apply my film wash to each of these tracks individually, it would work, but it would be very, very tedious and time consuming to do. So instead of doing that, I'm going to use an adjustment layer. So if we come up to layer, new and adjustment layer up here. This will bring an adjustment layer up here. So what an adjustment layer does, it affects every layer that's underneath it with any effect that we put on top. So for example, if I put on, uh, well, let's, let's open this out a little bit more so we can see the names a bit better. I'm going to put on Eastman version two. Let's have a look at that. Actually, no, let's not apply that one. Let's apply uh, Kermit with a razor. There we go. That's going to give quite a nice uh, striking look. Yep, absolutely. So Kermit with a razor, it's uh, gone for really high contrast slightly green tinge to it here and because I've applied it to an adjustment layer I only have to apply it once and it applies it to my entire my entire timeline here so all of these clips are being adjusted now another advantage is if I have to do any uh, other correction to just one clip say for example uh, this clip here uh, which is this one here uh, and say I wanted to come into the color correction and just boost the brightness up a little bit and I do that with my my levels command or in fact even take the brightness down slightly I can do that to just this one clip without affecting any of the other clips at all now another great thing is how we can use adjustment layers to um, to sort of change the effect here this is quite a striking dramatic effect so possibly a bit too much for for a lot of cases so if I come to my adjustment layer hit T to bring up the opacity, I can take this down and mix this back with my original um, my original layers. So if I didn't want it to go completely to 100 or at zero it's turned off, I'll take it to uh, about 60 there. There we go. And so that's still affecting the, the clip quite um, dramatically, but it's not taking it to um, to the extremes that it was before. And of course, another great thing about using adjustment layers is we can layer these over the top of each other. So for example, if I wanted to put another wash over the top of that, uh, so let's take summer saturation and put that over the top there. In fact, no, let's take summer glow instead. There we go. That mixes, mixes the summer glow in. And again, that's a bit too, too harsh for me. So uh, come to my adjustment layer, hit T for the opacity, bring that down and just mix a little bit of that back just so it gives it a slight warmth that it didn't have before. So there we go, that's that's with that slight warmth coming back in. So this is the original and here with our film wash over the top, very, very simple, very, very easy. This is now ready to render out. Okay, so that's the end of the uh, introduction uh, tutorial. So we've seen how to install film wash we've seen how to apply it to a single clip and how we can apply it to adjustment layers so if we apply it to adjustment layers we can take these 30 odd presets that we've got here and we can start layering them up and creating infinite numbers of variations within this just using adjustment layers and the opacity very very good very very simple so in the next tutorial we're going to have a look at specifics of certain filters and we're also going to look at how we can use the uh, the grain that's that's also included within this bundle and some of the uh, 